we all can agree that in this day and age, spiritual protection is a must for you and your loved ones. My custom made spell in a bottle necklaces can provide that energy for you. Whether it's protection against spiritual attacks, financial blockages, or protecting your relationships. For more information on my spell in a bottle necklaces, please visit EvolvingWisdom5.com. What is good? Bull gang, gang, gang. Yes. We in this motherfucker. What the fuck is up, boss? Yes, Evolving the Wisdom is here for that dark energy read slash Big Mama's read, okay? Y'all, please like, subscribe, leave comments, say what's up, Evolving Wisdom. I hope you guys are feeling good, okay? I hope you are taking care of yourself here, Bulls. If you guys still want to get in on the School of Conjuration course, that is still open. This is the last day, okay? After today, I will no longer be accepting entries, okay? I am excited to see all of you guys this weekend here, okay, for the level one and level one part two course that will be going down this weekend, y'all. Y'all know how we get down, okay? Um, if you guys would like a personal reading or any information on my spiritual services and products and services, y'all already know how to fucking find me. Because y'all already know where I be. Everywhere. In the motherfucking cosmos. Chilling. Watching. Your ass. Okay. All right, boys. Let's jump up into y'all read here and see what the fuck is really going on. Wisdom School of Conjuration must be chosen. Join me for a reload of Level 1 Protection Fire Spirit Conjure Course Friday, October 15th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Must be chosen. Part 2 of Level 1 Conjuring Fire through the arts of writing a petition the correct way. Saturday, October 16th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Must be chosen. There are limited spots available. Check out what my students are saying about Wisdom School of Conjuration. Boys, I think it's time to let it go. Looks like another love TKO, okay? I don't think this is about love here, but I think it was something you guys have to learn or you're learning how to let go of or you have let go of. Some of y'all still holding on to shit here still. I don't know why, but hey, 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 do your thing, do your thing here. However, I do feel like it's a time here for you bulls to really understand, like, who are you? Who are you? Because there's a part of you that has ended. There's a part of you that is falling away. You're stepping into a new spiritual upgrade on yourself here. Whatever you, whoever you thought you were, that's no longer a part of you anymore. This is a blessing. This is greatness. Now there's time for you to transform yourself into something greater. And then after another seven years, it'll be another point where you have to transform yourself into something great. You always, you never fully, sometimes you, you, you think, I know myself, I know, I know, no. You, you have different points in your life here. It's always after like a seven to eight, ten years here, the, the spirit wants to upgrade or spirit wants to transform some quicker than that here. And I feel like it's, the question is, who are you? And what are you trying to do with your life? What are you, who are you trying to be? Who, what are you trying to inspire here? Who are you trying to, are you trying to inspire people? Are you trying to inspire just yourself this lifetime? What do you want to do? Some of y'all like, I'm tired. I hear you. Some of y'all like, I'm fucking tired. Okay. I'm tired of being a fucking tired. Okay. I'm tired of all this transformation. Just want to get to the damn point here and stop going through these things here. But 
those things have fallen away or those are did hard. Some of you guys had to make some hard decisions and some hard choices here because those things could not go with you where you're trying to go in life. Or there was lessons that you needed to learn here and, and be able to actually handle your higher self, this, this, this journey here. Okay, if you were still in that same chaos or you were still accepting people to drain you of your energy or take your resources or at a dead end job here, you would have never been an entrepreneur. You would have never stepped in a higher paying job here. You would have never seen how beautiful you are here, bulls. Some of you guys learning how to be stop being so codependent on someone else giving you love and giving you permission to be beautiful and telling, you know, waiting for somebody else to tell you you're beautiful or you're loved by being with you here. Some of you guys are really understanding here that, look, I can do that for my fucking self. I am great. I am amazing. I am smart. I can do these things. Who am I? I'm no longer that 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 woman that needs a, a masculine energy or a feminine energy to, to be with me and tell me so I can feel appreciated or I can feel wanted here. Some of you guys are understanding. I know, you know, I was without a job for so long and everything because I was looking for low and paying, low and paying jobs. When I started um, applying myself and understanding like, shit, I don't got to be, you know, applying for that $11, $10 an hour. I can try to apply for $17 an hour, $20 an hour here or work my way up to that energy. It's just a level of understanding. Like I can do this, but don't forget, don't forget those, those moments here when you were down and the energy you was filled because some of you guys, there's things still, spirits trying, it's almost a test coming in here. Like, yeah, do you really believe that? Okay, I'm going to let such and such come back in and call you and tell you, you know, they want to come back and give you the sad story here. Do you really believe that? Because you can say it, but what is the actions behind it here? Who are you and what are you, who are you trying to be? With everything going on right now, why not take the necessary steps to protect you and your loved ones with my Protection Grigri bags? No bag is ever made the same. All bags are tailored to your situation and your needs. For more information on my Protection Grigri bags, please visit EvolvingWisdom5.com. Well, it's like, bitch, I'm trying to be me. Fuck what you heard, okay? There's major, major, massive energy. I am so proud of my bulls here, okay? And we want to give we want to give honors and thanks to this Pluto and Saturn's energy here, although it is very hectic here, and I'm not saying all my bulls are going through this because I can feel that some of my bulls are celebrating. Some of my bulls went through a little triumph here, but, you know, you're, you're like, you're seeing the sun now, okay? You're having a good energy here okay now i feel like a lot of this is for my gemini's my 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 bulls who got a lot of air energy um going on with them here or it could not be okay i'm i'm, I'm proud of you guys here okay and there's also a lot of jealousy around some of you guys releasing family or you releasing some you, you got you guys have a spiritual stalker here when it comes to someone who either gave birth to you here or just was very close to you through bloodline if you were wondering here, if you were actually, because some of y'all know, some of y'all had to release motherfuckers out your life because of that, because they wasn't right here. And I always tell y'all that, fuck them titles, fuck the titles, okay? Look at the person, not the title of that person, look at that person here. Some of this shit is karmic relationships here that meant no well through your lifetimes here. But maybe it was, it's difficult for you to live. But that's the lesson this learn. It's going to make you stronger here. It's going to make you wise. Some of you guys are supposed to be going through certain things here in your life right now. So you can, you can help service other people here. But it's not all about servicing other people. Okay, you guys? I really feel like we're switching up out of that energy more of just giving service. I really feel like it's more of how are you servicing yourself this lifetime? How are you healing yourself this time? Are you putting yourself first? Or are you giving over to deep emotions and codependency when it comes to um, humans? Whether, and, and that's all that your mom is just a human, your dad is just a human, your grandma is just a human, your kids are just humans at the same, at the end of the damn day here. And they can be, they can be toxic karmic relationships here. Not all, 
But I'm talking about the ones who are dealing with that or have dealt with that. Everybody's not meant to be with you for a lifetime. Sometimes you're born into a family you feel no connection to. And they run you rapid. They run your mind, mental mind down. They run your pockets down. down. They, they, they bind you spiritually here to keep you in a bondage here. And sometimes it's hard to free yourself from those type of energies here. But that is the purpose of the journey here. So you can be have strength. You can have resilience here. And you can see, damn. That was so difficult, but I it was so powerful enough to pull myself up out of that. It hurts. And I know it hurts when you have to release people to, that you really cared about, that you think should genuinely care about you here. But that is the power of the motherfucking bull. Okay. All right. That is the power of the bull. Bulls, you can do this. Somebody don't want to release you. It ain't just you, bulls. It's somebody else who don't want to release you here. And let's look at the whole picture of that. They're not trying to release you because what? Why? Why are you? Are they getting something from you here? Are you helping them alone? Are they motivating you? Are they good in your life here? What is the purpose of them not wanting to release you here? Because I don't feel see any goodness that comes from that here. Okay. Some of you guys thinking about going back to some type of soul tie here. Some of you guys, will, you will be moving, elevating on your job here, but there's also a hating ass bitch around in your work field. I don't know if you guys just got this job here or started a new position in that um, field. You got a hating ass motherfucker here who be talking behind your back, trying to throw salt on your name here. Okay, but it, it won't work. It won't work. You just keep doing you. Keep Working hard, keep showing up here, okay? There is a lot of financial abundance that's coming to my bulls here. You're going to understand. You kept, you stayed, stand, you stayed still, you stayed grounded. Some of you guys may not felt like I'm not, um, like I'm not grounded in everything here, but you did here. And, and it's still, some of you guys need to get up out the bed. Some of you guys may be still in this, the ones that are in this energy here, you may be feeling a lot, a lot of, downtime or about to start getting into a, like oh my gosh what is going on here a little mental um chaos here okay cleanse yourself that's why i be telling y'all you think i just be saying just for the fact of it here cleanse your fucking self gosh boys gosh okay some of you guys are trying to move or get a new home here someone is blocking you Whoever know your business here or whoever been getting readings on you here, they know you. They know you're trying to trying to get up out your situation here. Okay? I'm, I'm, also, I'm also picking up Pisces energy coming in. Some of you guys are getting sick because of your area. Like, the area that you're you're in here or the town you're in here, you maybe start feeling very sick. Some of you guys have been throwing up here or, or um, just not feeling very well here. I don't know what's going on around in that area. I don't know if it's because you haven't, you didn't take the opportunity to move when you're supposed to or there was blockages or you just fed up with that energy or there's more going on in your area here. Here, I see a big, um, a big area, like a metropolitan and type of area here. Stagnation. Some of you guys got stagnation here. I see someone dragging their leg. Like literally dragging their fucking leg. Like you gotta just decide, boys. You gotta just make a decision. Like don't think that you're not gonna get it. Just make a decision. Say this is what I want. And okay, let me just do it. I do feel a little confusion on what to do next. Okay? Don't be careless here. Don't be uh, careless. Don't be, some of you guys don't make um, frivolous mistakes here when it comes to taking care of paperwork or just jumping. Don't believe everybody you hear when you, um, some of you guys may be taking care of business and everything here or getting uh, set up with um, some type of um, job interviews here or just um, like online jobs and things be careful with that here like giving out your information too much here your social security numbers and stuff like that make sure it's a legit type of um whatever you, whatever this is here you're doing here there's mental clarity i'm hearing that's going to be coming in 
but they're still like I, a lot of you guys keep asking like what am i supposed to be doing i hear you asking spirit like what are you supposed to be doing here and i, I some things here that everything is not meant to to know everything is it's almost been hidden from you in a way but it's confusing here it's almost like spirit is pushing you guys along here to to do some things here but it's like almost like you the answer is there that's what i'm here here the ant the 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 question, the answer is there for you here, but I don't think you're, you're not believing in it or you're not thinking that that's something you want here. There's a little confusion. It's like, is it there? That answer's been a answered here. The question do you have has been answered. Spend more time by nature, by water. If you guys can find a fucking pond, something here. animosity here y'all got some hate ass bitches some of y'all about the people y'all some of y'all bull of love y'all got people who close or was close to you at one point just so jealous don't you all ever let them motherfuckers back in y'all life if y'all let them bitches go let they asses go there's decisions you need to make here though so you guys there's sacrifices you have to make and booze that's the that's the you don't like you like to keep everything there like what you got is there sacrifices are you going to find yourself in more, more codependent situations? Okay. And I know it can be difficult, boys, but you got to make some sacrifices to get what the fuck you want here. Turn off the fucking emotions and make freaking decisions. Everything don't got to be about the emotions. Step into the analytical side of your energy here. Okay. Step into that higher dark feminine energy here everything you know doesn't have to work in the emotional side of things here okay you gotta get real logic here and turn off the emotions you've been working too much in the emotional energy for too damn long okay put yourself first okay all right boys let's get into y'all uh -uh. let's get into y'all reading boys come up from fucking emotions y'all Okay, it's a time and place for emotions. Well, sometimes we can be too much into to, to the emotions to the point we start thinking about what the other person need or what they want and everything. Fuck that. Shit, fuck that. Okay, y'all dig into y'all emotions. We out of that. Now, come on. Okay, put yourself first. And sometimes you have to think that's why all parts of the, the, the human makeup is needed here. The ego. Okay. The emotions, the logic, you need all of them here, okay? But there needs to be a balance here. I can't stand when people be like, don't be in the ego. Fuck that. Sometimes you need, in this point right now, some, some of y'all need to get into the ego here. With this energy, you need to be like, I can do it. Fuck that. I'm about that. You know, that ego comes in and, and tells you, yeah, you can do it. You about that. You, you are powerful. You are strong here. Okay. Nope. You don't need that right now. Cut that off here. That's the, when that ego comes in and, and, and sometimes that ego comes in and grounds you. When you're feeling weak, when you're feeling down here, that's when you need to pull into the ego and let the ego come in and say, no, you are not weak. You are strong. You don't need them. You don't need him. You don't need her. You don't need this. This is what we need. This is what we need. Let's go. Okay. Okay. You got to let them know, bulls. Okay. Unity. Do the right thing for the right reason here. Comparing traditional views. Okay. New approaches. See things differently here. You can't keep doing that same shit. Some of y'all... I can't feel this very heavily, not all, but some of you guys are too deep into your emotions. And it always got you in fucking runs. So some of y'all just stay in the emotional energy. Some of y'all need to come up out of that a little bit. Okay? There's a better choice here, not seeing things clearly. I do my head. <laughs> You're running away from the motherfucking truth. Okay? Quit running. Quit running and face it like a fucking bull. Okay. Bulls run for a minute, but they be back. They'll be back for that challenge. Okay. It says a brilliant success comes from the freedom to go in any direction you want. Okay. 
It's time to go after your dreams. It's time to go after your ego dreams. If your ego telling you you want to be the motherfucking president of the United States here to come up out that energy, you may not succeed with that here. But at least you know, damn, I put a lot of work in to become the president of the United States. You know, I can do this here. I didn't become it, but uh, it set me on a different path. It set me more on a legal path here. And now I realize I always want to be a fucking lawyer. And you can work on that. I'm just giving you scenarios here, okay? Sometimes you need that, that ego to come in here, bitch. What if news is on its way, boys? Okay, protect the fruits also of your labor. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit. Some of y'all worrying too much. Get some rest, boys. Okay, no need to put wrinkles on your face. No need to be losing your hair. Stress the fuck out here. Take care of yourself. Have your moments, boys. If you do are in this energy thick here, have your moments here. Bounce the fuck back up, looking beautiful and very um, intelligent as you are here. Okay. Plan your next steps with the eyes to the long term here because there is a massive change coming in, boys. I can feel it. I can feel it. Okay, boys, I can feel it. I can feel it in the air. Okay. The universe, boys. What's going on? Show me what's going on with my boys here, okay? What's going on here with my boys here? Okay, strength is needed here. Something's coming in very fast. A, ma a massive change is about to come in within the next two weeks here, boys. A massive change is about to come in very fast here. Okay, there's a need for you to have resilience, resilience here and strength here and stand in your energy here. Okay, power, strength. Okay, new cycle is about to come in, but there is some 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 tower moments and some things that you still and I feel like this is for my boys who who know there's some things that they're supposed to be releasing here or just a, it can also be the way the mind is thinking here. If you know you've been thinking in a certain type of way for the past two years here, and you notice like within these last three to six months here, the shit's been dwindling away, or I say the last three to four months here, she just hasn't been working out still that way, or things has been seen, seen that it's not really coming through here that means it's time to change okay that means those ways is falling away here there's endings death rebirth is coming in here i keep getting change okay change is coming in fast y'all it's coming in fast okay it's coming in hot okay disappointments coming in something's coming in very fast disappointments okay you may feel bruised by this here. You may feel worry. It may make you worry here, okay? But stand strong here. There's just judgment will be made on this decision here. There's worry around these decisions. Some of you guys are, is is not over with here. Like there's more. Like you got a little breather, like, whew, some release, something has been released. Like some something has been re released off your back here, a little breather room here. Some of you guys may have just, you know, gotten approved for some things here or gotten callbacks for jobs, whatever the case is here. But then there's more little worries coming in here, okay? Something that's disappointments coming through, okay? But there's a new life that's trying to enter into your thing. And you know, when we're changing timelines here, that's what I feel like is going on. Some of you guys are going through changing of timelines here, okay? You're switching realities here. The other ringing in the ear here there's just a breakdown of the reality here it's like you're actually seeing it and experiencing and hearing the breakdown of your old reality here time traveling y'all slowly but surely that's what's going on here and it's it can be it can be very um it can be taxing on the body it can be a lot okay there's a lot at work here there's a lot at work here um boys staying strong here you got the emperor energy here <sighs> abundance is around you but there is a tower moment coming in boys there is a tower moment coming in boys don't be trying to catch up on on, on everything here some of y'all got money coming in but you need to make sure you're putting that money aside here or investing in spiritual protection you guys okay Sometimes you can avoid some things, you guys, when you got 
some 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 cold ass spiritual um items around or you're doing some some cold ass spiritual work okay i won't lie to you i won't lie i won't lie here okay but it's time for you to go out it's time for you guys to see what's going on here some of you guys are just tired of going through so much always always going through some things here okay but there's some things you may not be seeing here but i feel like you guys are going the glasses rose colored glasses will be taken off of your motherfucking face okay and you will your shiny ass face okay we're gonna talk about shiny because i keep my eyes glossy okay <laughs> boys there's a lot of information coming in here y'all look y'all be careful of union a union some of y'all still got your head, head up your fucking ass when it comes to relationships. Okay? Don't, don't fall up under no illusion here when it comes to relationships here. Okay? Some of you guys, you're losing money. Okay? Listen to your intuition. Y'all got some evil ass motherfuckers still around y'all, boys. Some of y'all, this is your ex-wife. Okay? And she she ain't gonna stop. Who is Some of you guys, this is an ex-woman. X, X, I keep feeling X, X friend, X something. It's a woman energy here. And this bitch is like, you're not going to live your life the way you think you're going to live your life here. Some of y'all masculine energies will release a uh, soul tie here uh, for a while here. There was a lot of bickering and fighting and a lot of anger in the relationship here. And this bitch still mad, okay? She's like, bitch, she like, you ain't just a, you ain't going to love another lover, okay? I'm the only one. I'm the only one. Okay, and I don't feel like this this woman wants you back. I just feel, or I don't feel like this person wants to come back into your life because it could be the other way around. I don't always have to be romantically here, but I am picking up a masculine energy who was married or so you're, you were with this person for a long time here, okay? A lot of soul connection energy here who was very mad. Mad, I tell you, okay? But you will be gifted. Justice will be given to you here for walking into something different or walking away from something here and releasing some something that didn't have hold any foundation okay y'all got some ooh. what this some of y'all gonna listen I'm, I'm, this, this is for a few of you guys here the ones who are out here searching searching for love here and ain't nothing wrong with wanting someone to love you here okay but when you are out of the emotions not completely doesn't mean you're un un unemotional okay but some of y'all too deep into fucking emotions some of y'all in a whirlwind of emotions especially with this relationship that's coming in here okay when you're able to step up out the emotions and look at the reality of things here no one can fool you here no one can pull a wool over your head here or intuition will come in soon as you speak to this person here okay be aware of some because this person is crazy okay they're abusive they're mentally and physically abusive here someone who's a stalker and you're used to dealing with people who become obsessed with you or become stalkerish with you here don't think you're just you just escape that you're going to just escape this type of energy because it's feel like this person something it, and when i say this person is coming back around it's the same spirit it's the same spirit attached to something some of you guys think you learned some lessons here but you haven't Okay, some of you guys, you have a tower moment coming with someone here. Mm -mm, but there's money here. Okay, y'all got 10 of coins here. Some money is looking good. Stand up here. A lot of, a lot of abundance here, boys. It's raining. It's raining. Not emotions. It's not raining emotions. It's raining finances here. Okay, I really do feel like this is finances here. Okay. Don't be coming in, don't, some of you guys take the illusion. Some of you guys are really coming into reality of what you need to be doing or that information will be coming to you here. New beginnings here. Your ancestors are with you here or you're grounding yourself or your ancestors are helping you ground yourself and bring in that new life for you here, okay? Some of you guys may be dealing with someone who, uh, my ancestor here, who was very religious, okay? Just be careful with that, you guys. Be careful with dealing with someone who, um, um, if you're not in that belief system, Okay, now if you still read your Bible and you still, I mean, because I read the Bible, but not in that way. Okay, I don't read it to look for um, wisdom or to guide me through life. I That's just, okay. So anyways, I don't want to get off into that. But if you guys know that you don't believe or practice the same belief systems that this person when they passed that they were heavy churchgoers here you may want to be careful here okay because the same thing that they believed when they was over here in this realm here they believe the same thing they probably still um you know 
believing in Jesus coming and everything and stuck in a time. And if you your ass ain't going to church, you ain't doing what you're supposed to be doing here. They could be upset or they could block your ass and be like, you need to call on Jesus. Okay, and if that ain't you, what you believe in here, just be careful because I do feel like some of you guys here may be calling on certain things here. Now, um, some of you guys may have ancestors too, though, who like your mom here who's passed over here, who believed in that type of belief system, but still understanding of that everybody has their path and journey here. I'm not talking about those. I'm talking about, you know, those, those grandmas or those uncles or whatever the case is, who was like, no. You need to go to church. You need to do this. You need to do that. And if you don't, they was judgmental here. They gonna don't be judgmental over there. Okay? But there's finances coming in for you bulls here. Okay, bulls. Take your breaks, bulls. Do what you got to here. Okay? This is the girl need a break herself. I really do. I need to recharge and revamp my energy. Because you know why? Okay? Create an altar or visit a prayer prayer place to connect with the divine some of you guys need to get out in nature if you don't want to do an altar because i always i'm not against the altar things but i just look at it like what if you do not have those altars if there comes a time where you don't have an altar and you will what are you going to do the altar is within you okay you can speak it out you can speak it out now if an altar helps you and it helps you meditate and everything do your damn thing here i always tell even my clients, I am the a messenger from spirit from the underworld here, but I still like for you guys to use your own fucking intuition here. Okay, I'm not in your body. Well, at that time when I'm channeling your energy, I kind of am in your body, but that's another thing here. But you 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 get what I'm saying? Like still there may be intuition that comes in, just just only you know. Okay. I don't, like, I don't want like people to put their full beliefs in, in, in just a, in, in one person. I don't agree with that. And I don't want anyone who follows me to believe. I like for you guys to use your power, use your belief system. Not just your belief system, but just the knowledge that's within you. There may be some things, some angles here that I can't see here, but you know. And that's when you step into your power. You listen to someone, you feel, hey, I feel like this woman got power. I feel like she can lead me in some in, on certain directions here. I do believe in her, and I'm glad you guys trust me with that energy for me to tap into your energy. But I even tell, I tell you guys all the time, there's still, I want you to still, you know, listen to that little voice that comes in with you, okay? Don't denounce that voice, okay? Important doors are opening up for you right now here. The situation, whatever you're going through, will be handled in fair and just manner here. Sometimes justice doesn't always look like the way you will want justice here, but it's being it's fair. The spirits are weighing the energy right now. The spirits is weighing your work, your, your strength. And it's not just work physically. Here's the work you're doing within yourself here. It's the releasing of um, things here you're doing, bulls. Some of you guys got ideals still that you're still holding on to here. You, it's time. The doors is open. Just go for it. Okay, bulls? All right. All right, bulls. That is y'all motherfucking ring, bulls. Okay, that was that big mama energy coming through. Bulls, if you guys would like a spiritual reading or any information on my spiritual services and products, y'all already know how to fucking find me, okay? This is Evolving Wisdom. And yes, I'm here. And I'm still evolving.